Um, if you have never written a standards-based IEP before, um, it may be a steep learning curve for you. Um, I actually, ironically, um, did this same webinar uh, yesterday at a high school, and I had some pretty quizzical faces, um, and people really needed some time to kind of process the information they were receiving. So I guess I would just kind of help to manage your expectations for today um, and say that you may need some time to kind of digest this information, to look at the resource materials, and then even to chat with a colleague about how your current IEP writing practice um, lines up with this information. So um, let me give you a couple of if-then statements. If we hope to provide all students with, with meaningful access to the general curriculum, if we want those students to have reciprocal social relationships, if we want to give gen ed teachers a map for um, the overall goals and strategies for including students as full participants in their classes, and if we want students to really have the best chance of, of leaving our school systems college and career ready, then writing an inclusive standards-based IEP can help. And I say it can help because I've never found that the IEP as a standalone can um, sort of solve all the problems and all the questions that people have about inclusive education, um, but it's one of the tools that, that can help. Um, so let me share with you some big ideas that will help you um, understand what an inclusive standards-based IEP is and how it might compare to um, what you're currently doing. So um, the idea of presuming students' competence is embedded in a standards-based IEP. The IEP is a document that makes it very clear, um, particularly in the vision statement that, that families are asked to complete um, during the IEP process, that the long-term goals for students with disabilities is the same kind of long-term goal as we expect for typical students. Um, and I would definitely suggest um, writing on the IEP that the long-term goal is students' um, eventual transition to post-secondary education or and or integrated employment in the community um, and um, the goal of having satisfying social relationships. Uh, the big idea, another big idea, is um, the importance of portraying students' strengths um, equally as vigorous as um, the IEP presents students' difficulties or needs. A standards-based IEP describes students' pre present levels of performance relative to general education curriculum standards. Um, for some students, those standards are going to be alternate assessment standards, and for other standards, they may, they may be the general um, standards. 